Hey everybody, how's it going? So I wanted to make a little bit of an update video on the Simple Core. Unfortunately, I was delayed a little bit by some extruder motor issues. It seems that the wires in the old motor were kind of loose, like, like inside the motor casing itself. And that was causing all kinds of weird errors, stuff like that. So I spent a couple days troubleshooting and ended up just replacing the entire motor. Uh, Fingers crossed, knock on wood, it's been about eight hours of printing since I did that, and it's performed flawlessly, so hopefully the issue is solved. The point of today's video, however, is of course to talk about upgrades. So here's what we've got. As you can see, we have a bunch of metal L brackets and some metal T brackets. This is way too many T brackets, but I'm going to save some of those for the future Simple Core. And in the back here, we have some of these large printed frame braces. These were modified from the VZBot, and now, as you can see, have the Voron logo plastered on them. They are big. They are 200 millimeters. Uh, I currently have four of these because I have sort of depleted my Polymaker gray filament. So I'm going to switch to orange and do a remaining, uh, probably remaining seven of them, to have 11 in total, not an even 12 just because there's no space in this back corner to fit one, so we're going to be stuck with only 11. I could do on top of the printer, like here, but I think that would be too in the way of the Bowden tube and the wires and stuff, uh, and hopefully these metal ones will do most of the work for me. So that's the plan for the frame. For the tool head, I have a few things printed here. Voron's kind of busy at the moment, so We'll be printing other stuff a little bit later. This is my modified version of MFBS's Super Light Fast Swap Carriage. The mod is very minimal, it's just so it would support the Sherpa Mini. The Super Light Fast Swap is an upgrade for rat rig printers and as such uses the EVA system, so we can bolt it directly to our Simple Core. There are three main reasons I'm using it in this case. So one, and this is a personal preference thing really, but it uses uh, heat set inserts instead of embedded nuts, which I think is a much, much nicer system. Secondly, it has more mounting holes available. So what actually holds the Rapido here is bolted with three bolts for the carriage instead of two. And that's good because here, while it is secure side to side, I can like bend this, work this back and forth and uh, I don't like that. <laughs> so hopefully this having three mounting points will be more secure and therefore better. And finally, this mounts the hot end about eight and a half millimeters higher up than the standard EVA 2.4 would. And that's important because currently I have to use the uh, ultra high flow, the UHF ducts. But with this system, I'll be able to use the standard ducts, and that means I'll be able to use octoduct, which should increase my cooling performance quite a bit. The only other thing here on the table is this good old uh, ADXL mount I made. I'm probably not going to use it in favor of going for a nozzle-based approach, but I do need to find something that would actually work with the Rapido Ultra High Flow. So not quite sure how I'm going to go about input shaping just yet, but we'll see. All right, I'm going to go print the remaining seven frame braces and install all this stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video.